Hey, greetings good people, are you still looking for a new graphics card this year because you weren't able to get your hands on a 30 series graphics card from Nvidia or AMD big Navi card? Well, that's no surprise, but it should also be no surprise that the RTX 3060 Ti is coming out really soon and despite Nvidia being completely radio silent about this graphics card, I think you're actually excited to know that this graphics card is coming out really soon. So if you'd like to learn more about technology and gaming, I have to tell you that on my channel I happen to cover that quite a lot and if you'd like to support me then you should probably click that subscribe button under this video. Now let's talk about this small boy from Nvidia. The RTX 3060 Ti should be coming out on December 2nd from all of the leaks and rumors that we've seen and to be fair <laughs> with the amount of pictures that we've seen with those graphics cards it actually seems like we're going to get decent stocks for those as compared to the RTX 3070, 3080, 3090 or the big Navi cards which is a bit surprising if you think about it. Now this graphics card looks a lot like the RTX 3070 until you actually turn it on the back. So let's talk more about it. Now it should come with 4,864 CUDA cores and it should have the very same 8 gigabytes of a VRAM memory split across a 256-bit bus, which is pretty much what you would expect from a card that is based on the very same GA104 chip, so it should deliver very similar performance to the RTX 3070. Now to be more precise, I should probably say to the RTX 2080 or 2080 Super, because if you look at the um, straight um, CUDA core count and then you look at the dedicated ray tracing cores, you're going to see that this one actually has only 38 ray tracing cores as compared to, I believe it was 46 for the RTX 2080 and 2080 Super. However, if you look at the leaked benchmarks, you're going to see that this one actually outperforms the RTX 2080 and it's more of an RTX 2080 Super, which it also can outperform in very um, particular scenarios. Now, this kind of makes me think that if you're going to get this card for a 1080p monitor, you're actually going to be able to play um, Cyberpunk 2077 at launch. Hopefully this one is actually going to launch on December 10th and they're not going to delay it anymore at 1080p high settings with ray tracing turned on and still get decent frame rates because if you look at the minimum requirements for that game this is also something I've already covered on my Moshpits episode but you know I'm going to do it over here again at 1440p you're going to be able to play this with an RTX 3070 with ray tracing turned to high and still get very decent frame rates so are you excited about this card well you should probably be because the price is also a very good one it will run you down about 399 dollars or euros depending on where you live and i expected that to be 399 euros here in germany for the founders edition of course the um custom aab partner cards are actually going to cost a little bit more but i would say don't spend more than 499 for this board because then you're getting into 3070 founders edition territory and you shouldn't so um another interesting thing about this card it only has an 8 pin power connector i don't think if i don't I don't remember if I already mentioned that. And I think Nvidia has actually leaked a picture of the 3060 Ti themselves. If you're looking on their Twitter, you're going to see that. However, as exciting as that sounds, I think uh, <laughs> availability might still be a problem because I've seen some reports from video cards showing that this card is actually great for mining and that kind of sucks if you think about it, except if you're a miner. Either way, just to tell you more about it, it should deliver some great performance, about 61 mega hashes per second if you lower the total power draw to 120 watts, which this graphics card has a total of 200 in this case, so it's a bit lower than what you would expect to see on the RTX 3070. Now, all that remains to be seen are benchmarks for this graphics card, and we've seen that for Ashes of Singularity and some other synthetic benchmarks, but I would say wait for some proper benchmarks because as you know Ashes of Singularity is a game that is being played by 12 people, 11 of them which are benchmarkers and one of them is a lonely developer trying to see if the game still works. Now I would say you should probably mark your calendars for the second for the second of December and get subscribed to this channel if you want to learn more about Nvidia, AMD, Intel and so many other companies at the same time. And this has been Alice with a Red Elk. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.